after Arewa Group accused him of being behind Cardinal bombing, General Christopher Musa reacted. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Christopher Musa, has reacted to claims made by the Arewa Action Group for good governance that he was involved in the bombing of people in Tudumburi, Kaduna State. General Musa was informed that the Arewa Group for Good Governance is beginning to make statements against you. During an interview with Arise TV, they are accusing you of plotting with the Nigerian Hami to attack people in Kaduna State who you believe to be not of your ethnicity. How do you respond to these direct and serious accusations against you? In his response, General Musa expressed regret over the situation, acknowledging the emotional responses, responses it has triggered. He clarifies that the operation against terrorists has been ongoing for a considerable period and in the process, mistakes can occur. He vehemently denied any tribal, religious, or ethnic motivations behind the actions, emphasizing the diverse composition of the affected community, which includes both Christians and Muslims from various ethnic backgrounds. Contrary to the allegations, Musa asserted that the military maintains a professional stance and does not take sides. In General Musa's words, well, I think it is highly unfortunate and you should also understand that when situations like these happen, emotions run very high and people tend to have different emotions as to how they react to issues, but it is highly unfortunate and highly regrettable. It is an ongoing operation that has been on for a long while and we are trying to put in our best to ensure that we defeat the terrorists and mistakes do not happen. Nothing has to do with tribe, religion, or ethnicity. Anybody who has that kind of thought is not being truthful and sincere about it. That community has both Christians and Muslims, so it is not even just one tribe. And we have tribes from other areas that were farming within the general area. So sometimes when people don't have full information, they tend to react differently to it. The community is not totally one ethnic group or one religion. We are professional soldiers and we don't take sides. You all, let me have your thoughts in the comments section. Subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done that. Before we go, let's take a look at some of the reactions we got online. Yahaya Umar says, Let's be fair to General Musa as he, the CDS, and not Chief of Army Staff. So no matter how you eat him, you can't start pointing finger at him. The Hami claimed responsibility for the attack. While General Musa deals with the armed forces, Army, Navy, and Air Force, so you can't accuse him until those that carried out the operation said it was the one that instructed them to attack. Let's use, let's think deep and be fair to ourselves. I come in peace. Brief Trust Dogara says, you people should first of all blame Minister of Defense, Chief Security Advisor. Omaru Yusuf says, I would not have commented because of a sentiment normally at attached such issue or to such issue, but in reality, tribalism is sometimes given religious colorations. Among the Aousa, there are non Muslim. Maguzawa, who had never conf had conflict with the Awusa Muslim, just like, for example, among the Kataf people, 
there were Muslims, but they also had never conflicted with their Christian Qatars. Nasir says, what kind of mistake for only Muslim can happen? Shaibu Sulaiman, and what value is there in Southern Kaduna Christians? Wow. Nobody deserves to die. Not to talk of being, you know, killed in that way. Anthony Ayaralu says, Terrorist group attacks and later run to hide among the civilians. This has been their tactics. Stonehouse, for who were bad leaders and politicians are the criminals and the Nigerian military are supporting them. I wonder why they are complaining about the insecurity in the country. Obama says, let them cry. When insecurity was laying its eggs, the Arewa group was snoring. We are paying for neglecting doing the right thing at the right time. William Bahago says, issue is not tribalism by Guthrie, but finalization terrorism. Don't chief of defense staff in that office is continuous to suppress the minority in the country. Their religious cleric has been making comments in the public that office should be finalized. Emmanuel Paul says, how many of those people talking now accuse Buhari and his army when they bombed several IDP camps where were they when Buhari and Buratao ordered Ami to kill Ensa's protesters? Where were they? Lastly, Imos Tanko says during Buhari's administration, many of such mistakes took place in Plateau State, Benue State, Zamfara State, Sokoto State, and Niger State. Was it Christopher Musa that was CDS? How can educated people be talking like illiterates? Religion is destroying this country. Hmm. You all, let me have your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you very much.